Are you in the market for an audio file grade DSP? Are you trying to get started in sound quality in your car? Are you on a limited budget? Yeah, we all are. If you answered yes to any of these questions, or all of them, then the A-Wave DSP A6 with the DRC bundle is the perfect solution. The A-Wave DSP A6 is a compact four channel amplifier equipped with a six channel digital sound processor. It's got four channels of RCA inputs, four channels of high level inputs, integrated Bluetooth input, included digital remote control for volume, sub-level, preset selection, input selection, and mute trigger. It's got four 30 watt RMS outputs at four ohms, a six channel RCA output, 192,000 hertz sampling rate, 32 bit core operating speed. It has an EQ adjustable slope phase, delay gain, uh, it's got everything, including the all pass filter, which is really, really cool. So the all pass filter is something that you're only going to run into once you get deep into uh, SQ tuning. But to explain what it does, as you have a, uh, okay, to explain, <laughs> to explain what an all pass filter does is as the, the, the pitch, as the pitch goes from this frequency up to this frequency, right? Say you're going from 1000 hertz up to 1200 hertz. If that uh, frequency is moved off to one side, like it's peaking here and peaking here, right? And you want it to peak here. You can flip the phase of that frequency at that one spot. So you can pick a single output and you can like, for instance, a tweeter on the left. Okay. And you can pick a single frequency range. And during that frequency range, anytime that that speaker plays that range, it will flip the phase during that. <laughs> What does that do? It allows you to align everything to where it's 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 at your head. It's a huge game changer. It's not something that most people are going to use early on in the DSP tweaking career. But once you start digging in, <coughs> once you start digging into tuning with a DSP, You'll eventually come to a point where certain things are just not quite, there's no tool to allow you to solve a problem that you run into. And uh, that all pass filter is that tool because um, it allows you to do some crazy stuff. For example, I talk about the, uh, I talk about in several of my videos how you can first time align and then EQ the whole system. Then, you can create a better center, center image by moving a frequency. So if you have a, if you're, if, you're, if whenever you're playing a, a frequency sweep, like, you know, if it's got a hundred hertz to, to a thousand hertz at, and, and you're slowly going through that sweep and you notice that it, that, that, that sound is moving around like this, right? There's a hundred hertz. It's over here. And at 200 hertz, it starts to move this way at 300 hertz. It's right here. And then it moves and then it jumps over here and jumps. And by the time you get to a thousand, it may be over here. The idea is to have all of that apparent movement can, you know, consolidated into a fairly small spot. That's going to, cause that should all be a center image. When you're playing a mono track over a stereo uh, system, that uh, sound should all appear to be right in front of you. That's, that's the idea. If it's not, that's what the DSP can, can fix, right? So time alignment's a good start. Then you have to listen to that tone sweep. Go up, slowly go up, and you'll notice it move over. Then you turn down the right and turn up the left and make it move back. And then you move up a little bit more in frequency and you adjust. So you'll come to a point uh, where 
you'll hear it over here and it just won't move like it, it, it no matter what you do it will stay over here or over here that's where the all-pass filter comes in so then you create an all-pass filter at that spot to flip the phase at that frequency and then all of a sudden the sound that was refusing to move will jump right in front of you um, and what's happening is is phase cancellation at your position and no matter how much you adjust the amplitude or decrease the amplitude from left to right it's still going to cancel out right at your head and that's why you flip the phase at that frequency and all of a sudden it cancels out over here and over here and you hear it right here that's the idea so phase uh phase cancellation solution all pass filter this dsp has it and that by itself is insane because most of the dsps that you'll find that have that type of uh software are far more expensive than this way more expensive than this it has all the inputs it is a really 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 cool dsp that just happens to also be a four channel 30 watt rms amplifier I mean, and it has integrated Bluetooth built in. And it comes with the control for the front, so you can do all the adjusting. You can adjust your sub level, you can adjust your volume, you can you can run this without a head unit at all. You can just uh, Bluetooth your phone into it and or your tablet or whatever and use that remote knob for your volume control and you don't even need a head unit. This is a really, really, really solid piece of equipment. And I'm totally digging it. And hopefully you guys like it also. Plus, I was looking over the build quality on it. It looks like a really solid piece. And for the price, holy crap, man. You're looking at 360 bucks for a four channel amplifier with a DSP with all pass filters with everything that a DSP should have. And the software is good. I mean, it's actually not too complex to use. It's fairly easy to figure out. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, I have a video showing me using the uh, cousin to this, which is the software is virtually identical. The layout's moved around a little bit, but all the stuff is there. You can download it straight from their website and you can test the software out on your computer before you ever even buy the thing. You can run it in a, in a mode to where it doesn't hook up to anything and just play with the, all the adjustments. It's pretty good. And for the price, and see the thing is, yes, it has a four channel amplifier and it's 30 watts RMS, uh, which is surprisingly potent. Uh, if you're running fairly efficient speakers, you'll be amazed at what you can get out of 30 watts RMS. Uh, but having said that, it's still a six channel, four channel in, six channel out, fully functional DSP with all pass at that price. Even if you're not using it as an amplifier, you're still getting the honey of a deal. And the thing I like to point out is if you're getting started in the DSP, SQ world starting out with something that's already amplified saves you one piece of equipment you can get started with this guy running because you have two extra channels coming out so you can run this as your front channel you can run it just as a you know full front or four channel front two front two rear or or uh, all four front and then run the other two channels back you can put one of those on a subwoofer and you can put one of them on a center channel you can do all kinds of stuff with it uh, and then later on, if you want to, you can bypass its amplifying features completely and just run it as a DSP. You know, it'll grow with you. And that's anytime you can buy equipment that you can carry on into your next build and keep building on top of, is always better than buying something that you're going to wind up replacing. And uh, that's that's something I, I, I tell everyone. I mean, look, buy the thing you need first. And then save up to buy the rest if it's if it's hurting you and money wise. Don't buy a crappy thing and then replace it later because then you wind up with spending more money in the end and not getting what you're after in the beginning. 
this thing will allow you to run a complete system pretty much by itself even right from the very beginning and it can grow into a big system later on so it's going to keep on giving over and over and over again it doesn't become obsolete so if you guys dig this hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the comment button type in something just say hey what's up <laughs> anyway guys i hope you enjoyed my video peace out